So I'm Krishna Shinoy, a professor at Stanford University, and I co-direct the Neural Prosthetics Translational Lab with Professor Jamie Henderson, also at Stanford University, who is a neurosurgeon. And our goal is to try to help people uh, communicate again, restore their ability to communicate after that is lost to serious uh, neurological disease or injury, such as ALS. And what we've done recently in this new paper that we are reporting is to decode or interpret neural signals related to writing different characters of the English alphabet. And what we do is we have people imagine or attempt to write the letter A and then B and then C while we record the neural activity from a couple of hundred individual neurons in the brain. And we find that the neural signals provide a very unique pattern specific to each letter. And that neural pattern of electrical activity through time for those 200 neurons is different for the letter A and the letter B and the letter C. And in fact, they're so different that we can classify which letter is being attempted with 95% accuracy, just purely from the neural data. Now we can add to that autocorrect, auto spell, natural language processing to drop that error rate down to below 1% as well. But just from the neural activity alone, which is a sign of how strong this activity is, we can do 95% classification. What that means is that we can then build, as we report, a system that's able to decode the letters that you want to write, because you're attempting to write them, uh, at 90 characters per second, more than double our previous record, which used the uh, uh, idea of attempting to move your entire arm to left or right to move a computer cursor around on the screen and select it. And there's very good theoretical reasons that it is easier to decode very rich characters in a given period of time than just a straight line like an arm movement. A final very important point of this work is that it is a so-called open vocabulary or open dictionary. Because we're writing individual letters, you can spell any word in the English language. And therefore, if you need, as most people do, at least several thousand words to make it through an average day, not feeling fettered by your inability to speak, we can do that. This is in stark contrast to other systems which rely on a little bit more average neuroactivity, which really then need to restrict the number of words down to something like 50 or maybe 100 or even 500. But they're very small, so-called closed dictionaries. So this is really what we do every day when we speak or when we write. Uh, and to be able to do so at this high rate, we believe is going to help people who cannot uh, communicate in other ways. And we think this really opens up many new doors and a lot of new hope for people with severe paralysis and loss of communication.